if ever there was a question that was just about like using the calculator, knowing how it works, this is it, right? Everyone can get this right as long as you just know to go right to the calculator. And you can do stuff like this on these calculators, but um, I'm gonna show you on Desmos because I think that's where people have less comfort with things like trigonometry. We're not really using that, um, those functions as much on Desmos. But basically, you're just gonna open it up. And um, you could, if I don't know if it's cut off in, my, in, in the image you have, but there's a little settings button at the top right, it's like a wrench. And if you click that, you can see, just like any calculator, you have the ability to mess with a lot of different things, but specifically degrees versus radians, right? So you have to recognize this is a radian measure. Anytime pi is involved, we're, we're dealing with radians. So we want it tapped in, on radians. Then we can just say, okay, let's go here. Now I don't see tangent on my normal buttons, but if I go to func, so func right here, uh, we're gonna see right away, they give us the trig, trig functions at the top. So tan and then 92 and pi is there as a button, so pi, and then just divided by three. And it's a messy number, so you might need to write it down, negative 1.73205, right? I'm even doing more than that. And from here, you again, you could go to one of these calculators and just use that. We're, we're just gonna see which ones give us that decimal, right? So we know already it's not C or D because we need a negative number. So it's just, okay, what is the square root? I'll put the negative, but I don't need to. I, I understand what I'm doing here. Well, the square root of three is just exactly the same decimal, right? So it's gotta be that. But if you wanted to try, right, we could do um, the uh, square root, where's the square root of three? And then if I hit divided by, yeah, I knew it was gonna do that. Um, in order to do this, you've got to, ooh, can I do this with my, See, this is the problem with the iPad. I actually don't know how to do this. Um, if I do out and then divide, yeah, there we go. Divide by three. Yeah, so that's annoying, but notice it's a different decimal, right? So this is why um, if you can, you're kind of seeing it, I use the iPad because I have the pencil and I can draw on the screen for you guys. But if you have the ability to take the digital SAT on a laptop with a keyboard, oh my gosh, that is so much better. So the, the tablets are fine for certain things, but you really prefer a, a, a keyboard and a actual computer if you can get one. But look, this is, this is a joke, this question, right? I mean, it looks like it's gonna be really hard because you have to understand trigonometry, but you really don't. You just need to know where the buttons are. So really there is no excuse for getting this wrong. And this speaks to something we always have to think about as we get to the harder questions in these modules is what, what makes it hard? It's hard in this case because it's a difficult topic. But if we don't use the calculator, the calculator doesn't think it's difficult, it's just buttons, right? So we should be, especially if we're running out of time, skipping around to find those questions that the SAT considers hard, but that you don't. And maybe it's just because you know how to use the calculator, but there will be things that in those last three or four minutes, you should be targeting because you are more likely to get them right. And that might mean throwing some other things overboard, but you would never, ever, ever wanna miss this question. This is just hitting buttons.